Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another edition of Community Q&A. Now, this week's question actually comes from several people as they all have questions about the Softaculous Installer Tool. So we decided to create a small series on the subject and it's going to span over the next four videos. Now the first video is going to go over a general overview of Softaculous and how to install a program onto your hosting account. Okay guys, so the first video we have for the Softaculous series is going to be how to install software through Softaculous. Now this is done inside the cPanel, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to log into your cPanel. This should look like this. And then you're going to scroll down until you find the software and services category. Down here, like again, this can be customized in how the order is, uh, so it may or may not be the exact order, but software services category is where you want to go. And you're looking over here for the Softaculous icon. Okay, this leads to the tool. Give that a click. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it starts off with a, the main screen here. There's a top applications, which is just kind of the most popular applications that are installed. Uh, over to the left here, you have categories that uh, are, there's a lot of them actually. There's categories of different types here, different types of software that you can put onto your uh, hosting account. Or if you know a name of a type, uh, sometimes you know the name of it, but you're not quite sure what category it goes under, you can do a search on it. So if we wanted to search for, uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Um, let's do WordPress, even though it's on the left hand side, right hand side here. Uh, it just kind of pops up and it shows what category it's under, which is blogs and then WordPress. Okay, um, and it kind of does it with a uh, intuitive, so you put in W and then it shows everything it starts with a W and I put in the an I, then it brings down to everything with a WI. So you can kind of go along and find different software that way. Okay, so that's the different types. There's about 280 different types of programs in here, so there's a lot of options. Okay, so here we have uh, the application installs. If you click on that, it shows anything that is already installed, that you've already installed previously onto your uh, hosting account through Softaculous. In this case, we have two um, applications. We're going to add another one here in just a minute. Okay, and so that's where you would see the, the, uh, the existing applications. Okay, let's go back to the home here. So we're going to install WordPress this time. Uh, it's nice and easy. It's a, one of the more popular ones. These top three here are the actual most popular ones that are installed. We're going to click on, you can either do it through the search over here. If it's a top application, just kind of hover over it and click the install here. But we're going to go over here and do it this way just in case you're wondering about an, uh, another application that's not on this list. I click on WordPress, it takes me to a page here. Uh, click install. Okay, now each one of these install setups may be a little bit different from another one, but they kind of generally have the same type of setup, if that makes any sense. So first you're gonna choose your protocol, which is normally gonna be HTTP, okay? Um, you can use www or non-www. If you have an SSL set up on your uh, account when you use that, then you can go with HTTPS. Typically speaking, you're going to go with HTTP. Just kind of pick whether you want www or not. Uh, I tend not to use that. Okay, your domain name. Your domain name here is going to be any domain name that's on your hosting account. Okay, it starts off with the primary domain name listed. And if you click there, it also has one with the IP address and your kind of like the temporary URL kind of format. This is pretty much useless. Don't use that. But uh, if you have a subdomain, another add-on domain, something like that, they'll all be listed here. So you can pick which one you're going to uh, install to. Then you have a directory. Uh, say for instance in this one I don't want to install directly to the main domain because I have some other things there but I'm going to put it into a uh, WP directory for WordPress or perhaps I want to say blog so it would be customercommunityimh.com slash blog whatever you want. You don't have to type in the whole thing you just put the name of the folder you want to create so slash blog would be uh, what I type in after customercommunityimh.com, so let's go with blog. Now, this directory cannot exist. In most cases, it sh cannot already exist. Um, I think there's a couple that actually want you to have the, the folder created first, but generally, this cannot be a folder that already exists. If it does, it's gonna yell at you and tell you you can't install it until you remove that folder. So you either have to do a different subfolder or just you know, go ahead and remove the other one. Uh, you're going to have a database name for these guys. Leave those as they are. Usually table prefix is usually left as it is. So you got a site name. This, this stuff like this, site name, description, stuff like that, you'll be able to you know, change later on. Okay, generally they have an admin section where you're going to have to put in an admin username and password. Make sure it's nice and strong. You can change it later inside 
uh, the application, make sure you want a nice and strong one. Make sure you have a correct admin email, even from the beginning, even though you can change it later, just in case you need to receive some emails from this thing. Okay, uh, language here is not for soft calculus. This language is gonna be for the program that you're installing. Okay, uh, if they have uh, different uh, language packs or whatever, this should help put that uh, back end at least into that language. The front end will probably still be in English. It's kind of how things work usually. Okay, uh, then you have extra stuff. This has a plugin you can add for WordPress to limit the number of times somebody can log in without being locked out. They all have some different stuff. Okay, and then you have some advanced options that are gonna be uh, relative to the software. Okay, uh, and this one, you can turn on auto upgrade for, for WordPress. They have that feature, which is nice. That means whenever a new WordPress comes out, it just automatically upgrades. Or, and you can do this disable update notifications. So if you check this, then you won't receive any emails you know, that tell you there's an update. Okay, so these are really, you know, related around the updates here. Whatever you do, uh, you're ready to install. If you wanna get a copy of some details for the install, just type in your email address here. Okay, and you click install. Actually, oops, I have to go here and make a, a username. So let's, let's call admin for a minute and one, two, three, ABC, EI, EIO, I don't know. Doesn't matter, it's really strong supposedly. Uh, it'd be better if you had some strange characters in there. Uh, I'm not gonna use this anyway, so. Uh, but anyway, in this case, I would wanna email the installation details to me because it's gonna have that password in there if I create a nice, big, strong one. Okay, go to install. Okay, you're gonna run through this little section here where it goes through uh, adding the files and adding the database to your hosting account. Okay, usually takes, usually less than a minute. Okay, when you're finished installing these softwares, it's gonna give you a couple of the URLs here. Usually it's the one that leads to the main public side. So this is what people would see if they visited customercommunityimhcom slash blog. And then you give you the administrative link if it's any different. And in this case it would be, I would also go to wp-admin at the end in order to get to the admin login where I would use that uh, username and password I have. Okay, so that's how to install software. Now if I go back up here and I click on the application installs, okay, you can see my new WordPress install is right here, along with the other two that I had. So I have three installations now onto my software, onto my, off my Softaculous, excuse me. All right, so that's how to install software using Softaculous. It's a quick overview of some of the uh, buttons here and, and kind of the layout. All right, that's the end of our first video of the series. And in the next video, we're gonna go over how to remove installations that you've installed with the software. Well guys, that's it for another edition of Community Q&A. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions you have in the comment section so we know what to bring you in a future video. Thanks and have a great day. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.